Okay, another point here I want to discuss is you have the word here. So we've studied in in Ara in English, sorry Arabic, they have a, a few different concepts. You have afalu shuru, afalu raja, afalu muqarama. In English, if you look at it, you can call it a simple term, auxiliary verb. A verb whose primary purpose is not to express a meaning, but to give more dimension to the main verb. So when you have, for example, Ya kulul rajul. Okay, that means a man eats. When you put akhad on it, a ja'al on it, what does it do? It gives a dimension to it. Mm -hmm. The man started to eat. Mm -hmm. And the common ones that we have in our books are in the books of Nahwar. Uh, you have Af'alu Shuru' Af'alu Shuru' Fishul Af'alu Shuru' Af'alu Al Muqaraba Okay Al Fa'lu Naqis Af'alu Naqisa Al Af'alu Naqisa Al Af'alu Naqisa Okay Now one that is also commonly used but it's not actually labeled as one and they, they make it as a hal, but you can also count it as an auxiliary verb, I think, is the word ad. So ad means to return. Literally, ad means to return. But it's, if it's commonly used, commonly, not very common, but you can see sometimes, it's used with it, fa'al mudari. Okay. And that literally translates as to do again. Okay, so for example, if we had. Uh, Adar Rajulu Yakulu. That means what now? The man started to eat again. Adar Rajul, and then you have Ada, you have the fine, and this is the. Well, the grammarians, grammarians will say that this is not a particular verb, it's a normal verb. Ada is the fine, and Yakulu is the hal. But I think it falls more under an auxiliary verb, and it's like the khabar almost kind of. Like, the man started to eat again. So they would do it as a hal, but you can also, it applies, it's a similar structure to this, like Isam and the khabar. Of that, but it technically is a hal, but it has a similar like, auxiliary verb meaning. Okay, similarly, you can have another verb, taraka. Taraka, ya wada'a. To leave. Taraka, taraka, to leave, or wada'a, to leave. Okay, see? Taraktuhu, taraktuhu yarkab. I let him. I Basically, hal. I left him riding, meaning. I let him ride. That who yakulu, leave him eating. Meaning, let him eat. So, uh, so these are common, but they're not, they're not actually classified. But they they are, are behave similarly to auxiliary verbs. They give a dimension as opposed to a primary meaning.